we're going to follow up on, uh, not almost a controversial, but for some reason, when we brought up the fact that there was a guy who ordered Chrono Trigger from GameStop, put up a YouTube video, and then it showed clearly a fake label. Like, even from his turn-the-wrong-way cell phone camera, you can see it was a fake label. Yeah. And inside was Madden 95. So, someone brought into GameStop near the New York area or Louisiana a fake counterfeit Chrono Trigger, and then mailed it to this guy without checking to see it was the wrong game. So, uh, he followed up via email to me because he, he thanked us for posting the news about it. Um, and then we got so much conspiracy theorists saying, oh, this guy this guy did it to get a free game. Why do you trust him? Which is funny because why would you trust GameStop? Right. My, the thing that's funniest <laughs> you know? to me is these people who are so quick to rush to the uh, a, a massive corporation's aid. Um, even, I mean, it, this has nothing to do with, you know, you don't even have to think that corporations are inherently evil, but you have a massive corporation that is getting back into something that they don't really know anything about anymore, and mistakes are made. I don't see how this is not a believable situation. Yeah, and we never said it was malicious from GameStop dudes. We just said someone dropped the ball. Yeah, they weren't doing what they said they were doing. And the thing I wanted to point out, a lot of people's, like, I don't know if they're, they're younger or if they're just not thinking, but, um, you know, GameStop came from Babbage's and software, etc. Okay? These are companies that sold cartridge-based games. And you know what? Shit like this happened when they sold cartridge-based games. You'd get a game with the wrong game in it. People would swap something out for something more desirable. Mm -hmm. It happened at rental stores all the fucking time. People would rent a Contra and take, like, a bases loaded and remove the chip and put it in and return the game. And it's just like, it's not... It, 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 it's It's so far well within the believable spectrum of things that could occur it, it, it's yeah. mind blowing that people are like the, the first thing people think well some people are thinking is that this guy's trying to get one over on yeah. GameStop so some people are thinking like well he ordered a, a real Chrono Trigger was sent a real Chrono Trigger which again if you look at the video it's a fake label you can tell yes. um, so then he got out a Madden board put it back in to send it back so then we are saying he then had a fake one made himself to do this trick to get a free... It, it's just the most convoluted... I hate to say it, it's borderline idiotic well, to, to, to think that this guy would go through this. Plus, because you are openly admitting to some sort of fraudulent activity, and then if GameStop kept records, they can say, whoa, 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 we have records that are signed here that this was tested at this date. Right. And plus, there's some mail fraud that could be involved if you try to, if you try to do something like this. The, the, the risk involved of opening yourself up to people looking in on you over an eighty or ninety dollar game to try to fake it is absolutely insane to me. To, well, to think that you would go through that to do it, first of all, and just like every insane theory, uh, they don't realize that oftentimes the simplest answer is the answer. You know what happened? A guy saw a GameStop or a girl saw a GameStop opening up retro trade-ins and said, "You know what? I can fuck him over real easy on this." Printed out a bullshit label, slapped it on a Madden for some trading credit, got some PS4 game or whatever the got hell he wanted. Got a forty dollar credit or whatever, and walked out the door. I mean, it's 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 easy. It's the most reasonable answer. Or the other uh, theory that he was. Um, I'm try it's hard to keep track of all the different theories. It is like the moon landing. You got to keep changing the theory. So the other the other the other theory. <laughs> keep poking those. Keep poking those bad. So the the, the, the other theory is that it could have been that. It was never sent, and it was all fake. Well, he emailed me actually. This guy emailed me, right? And if this was a fake, it was a damn good one. Besides, he had the he had the the, the shipping form, he had the invoice yeah. in the box. But he also then sent me, I guess, uh, a close up of the uh, the scan barcode on the bag, where it says like you know at GameStop, you know, had this barcode. Could he have faked that? Yes, he could have. It would have been some decent effort to fake that too. But at this but, point, how I mean, how I mean, much effort are you going to put into faking a bunch of materials and fabricating a story for eighty dollars for, for a free game for for literally eighty to ninety dollar value of a game? I'm not going to say that eighty. dollars You're wasting. You're wasting. Your time isn't that valuable right. if this is how you're spending it. Yes, eighty dollars is not no amount of money. But if someone out there can see going out and buying a new game for full price and then picking up dinner on the way home, there's your eighty dollars. It's not like we're talking an unreasonable sum of money now. And I'm not saying that it would people would go through this effort for a more expensive game, but for an eighty dollar game, that's it's an insane amount of effort. So this is what ended up happening. And the details were that uh, after some finagling going back and forth with GameStop, he sent it back. He had to pay, I think, his own shipping and, and a small restocking fee in the email. Um, so 
They're you supposed to pay his shipping, but they never sent him a label, and he said time. that he was not going to be able to get it back in time. You had like a seven. I think it was like you had a seven day window to get it back to him. Otherwise, then, you know, you're out of luck, and you had a you had a you had to pay your own shipping because they do that sometimes. They do that when like RMAs. I think it was just a return time. policy in general. But I mean, whatever. so so the guy actually ended up losing money on a game that was false. But fortunately, he was a member of a game forum, uh, and a nice guy actually sent him a a copy of the game. Uh, after seeing him go through that, uh, with a with a, it, I mean, beat up but nice gesture too. I think it was with a box. Yeah. Oh, that was part of the conspiracy. He, he was <laughs> he, the, he that guy is an idiot for sending him something. It was a it was a fake ruse that the guy put over on everyone. 